Hey y'all, it's me. Stop dropping roll on. Um, I think that I told y'all, but I'm not really sure. Number one, y'all already know I'm not a resolution type person. I will start thinking about the upcoming year, like in October, and start putting things into place on what I want to do to impact the year. Now, I'll tell you what I am like the rest of the general public in is that I'll get my solutions and then I'll start them and then about the middle of the year or however it is, I'm like not doing them or I'm not doing them consistently. And I am not going to be like that this year. I've already said it. I'm speaking it and I mean it and that's just it. Okay, so um, there, you know, I, I I see like even like at my Weight Watchers meeting, you can tell that there's an influx of people there and you can tell that the people that's been coming all along are kind of territorial acting because we all know how, how people do. You know, you get started, like I just said, and then by a certain amount of time. So some of the people that are regular that, you know, at the beginning of the year when some of us showed up, they kind of like did a little pushback and started like they were making little stuff like y'all intruding on our territory. Well, no, I just bought a piece of property in your neighborhood. Okay. And I'm squatting right here. Meaning I'm, you know, monthly I pay the money, which means that's my little weight loss mortgage. And you need to just be neighborly unless I'll get along. That's how I'm looking at that. Because I'm telling you, when I tell you, they were being territorial and a little cliquish too. And I'm looking at it and I'm talking to y'all about it, but I ain't being moved by it. But I can tell you, honestly, for real, there was a time when that would have made me feel some kind of way. To me, it's just like human nature, but you know, you need to get over yourself because I'm here. I don't know about anybody else, but you're going to be seeing me, so you might as well just extend the hand. Hey, how you doing? You know, for real. So, my in, you know, what I had intended, what I have intended, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have 12 things, my 12 things that I'm going to introduce this year. And I will be doing them on monthly increments. My intention is on January, for January, was to get up and start moving my meat, exercising, again, regularly and consistently. No less than a, a mile a day. And the issue with that is that knowing that it's going to, if you do more than that, great, wonderful, beautiful. But that was minimum. And each month, I will be adding a half a mile to that mile. And I have a cap. You know, but I'm not going to limit myself. You know, if I feel like I can do beyond what my cap is, and I'm specifically not speaking out the cap because I'm looking at February because that's where I'm at. So a mile and a half per, you know, my work time, my workout time is what I'm going to be doing in the month of February. So the walk part doesn't go away. The exercise, it doesn't go away. That's just the way it is. But... My new habit for the month of February is that I had already in, intended to begin juicing. Um, I have juiced in the past. Y'all have seen my juicer. I'm not going to be going over, this is my juicer. This is how you break it down. This is how you put it together. This is where the juice comes out. This is what you put. I'm not doing all that. Now, what I will share is what is in my juice. And uh, because it's... I don't, I'm not going to be doing that. People don't want to see it. If you do need to see it, then it's other people that have done it. And I don't need to be added to that bevy of stuff. Because I think I might already be in it. And I don't need to be doing it again. That's all I'm saying. So, this morning's juice is right here. And it is, um... And usually, this is what I do, and you can tell I already been in it because it was up to here. But I am not. I when I juice, I I'm juicing for the sake of juicing, and and then when I'm putting stuff in it. It's because it's something that I want to put in it, and it's something that I think is going to be helpful for my body. And I'm not going overboard with with sweet stuff when I'm juicing. Um, 
this juice has uh, lucenta kale in it. It has uh, green apple, ginger, lemon, um, dandelion greens, and that's it, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's everything. And a teaspoon of spirulina, and this is the spirulina that I use. And I think I've shown y'all this before. And this one, I really do like. And so, um, it'll be a picture of everything that I juiced at the end of this video. But it, it tastes, to me, it just tastes like lemon. That's what I taste. That's the, the biggest note that I get. And I actually like juicing. I like the energy that it gives me. I like the way that I feel when I do it. And I have an intent on when I'm going to juice. And um, like I said, I switch my greens up. Like when this is gone, because I just bought one bunch of dandelions because they had some organic ones up there that look really good. And then they had some, um, the lucenta kale, which is hard to find to me sometimes. But I like it better than the curly, that curly leaf looking kale that's everywhere. That used to didn't be everywhere, but it is now. So, um, that's, that's my intention for the month of February. If I do more, and I'm not talking about more like going, like I'm a juice and then I'm a this and that. Those are just the two things. Just walking and juicing and staying on my eating plan. And I'm going to see where it takes me. And I know it's not going to be bad. I just, I, I know it's not going to be bad. So I just wanted to let y'all in on what my in, intention and behavior, new behavior Added to my walking is for the month of February. I'm digging because I'm going to show y'all. This is my little, um, I showed y'all the package that the pedometer came in yesterday. But I didn't show y'all, um, the, uh, pedometer itself. And this is it. It's really small. I have it clipped on my, um, waistband. So, proof right here that I, uh, I already been up moving because I have, um, this morning. Um, I did two videos, matter of fact. Um, and this little thing counts, uh, as you can see the little numbers on it and stuff, and it just clips right here on my little waistband, got it on, there it goes, and, um, I'm good. Uh, one of my, uh, subscribers asked a question, she said she wonders what made people get away from Fitbits to be, I mean, get away from, um, the base, these basic pedometers to begin with. Number one, everybody wants to be technologically savvy. Number two, in my case, it was probably laziness because I was in groups and, um, not Fitbit groups and challenges and stuff, but I had a little group of people at that time that we were exercising together and you can just swipe your screen and then send it and they know you did what you did. Not to mention instant gratification because you got if you reach a step goal, then the thing goes off and it throws confetti in the air and tells you good job and all of that. It was just a buy-in and convenience. Those are usually the two things that, you know, uh, when people do marketing, that's they, 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 they did their job. Because it makes you feel like it's something that you really need in this day and age because you're busy. Yeah, I am busy. But I'm also wanting to be alive so I can be busy. And I want to be in one piece so I can be busy. So, I think that that's just the the, the way it is. It's kind of like, you know, you don't have a Fitbit. It's the same look that I get for that now that I get when people ask me, well, what's your Facebook, uh, uh, you know, what, who, how you listed on Facebook? I'm not on Facebook. Never have been on Facebook. Ain't gonna be on Facebook. And, um, and I get to look like, just like that, for real. So, I'll probably get that look now. And that's alright. I'm used to it. Because i already been tested on it. So, y'all have a good day. If your intention is to move, then move. If your intention is to eat well, then eat well. And, like I said before, if you're not doing either one of them things, you probably might want to ask yourself why. I'll talk to y'all later.